Hello everyone, my name is Decker Link, the trained unprofessional, and there's Bree in the background on her phone, chillin'. Chillin'. Real quick before this episode gets started, I wanted to uh, make clear that this is uh, the first episode that's coming out on the day that the game is actually going to be made publicly available. I don't know exactly at what time, but I do know that it's happening today, October 4th. So at the link in the description to the Patreon page, I'll have all the information. If you've been liking these episodes, if they've been at all interesting to you, go check them out, look at the page, see what they're going on, maybe download the public build and give it a try yourself. I highly recommend it. I've been enjoying it. I've played the entire demo as of, you know, you're seeing this. I've played the whole thing. I did it all in one go. Uh, and I think it's going to be an interesting story to watch unfold, so I hope you enjoy it as well. And, uh, yeah, let's get on with it, especially since I didn't record an intro for this particular episode. So, yeah, enjoy. Hey, who's that running into the field? Eh? My gaze follows Karina's outstretched finger. I see someone, I recognize this music, dashing out from Woodshaft Hall holding a bunch of papers. When they reach the center of the field, they start looking around frantically for something. Guys, I think we have found our mentor. I step out from the shade and wave to the figure, barely managing to catch their attention. They immediately seem to relax with their tail wagging behind them as they start heading in our direction. I fucking called it! I called that shit! Huff, huff. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys! I didn't mean to be so late. I was making sure everything was ready for the other groups, and I noticed I forgot my name tag, and why, why shout? What a first impression. Chris! He immediately perks up when I call his name. Bennett? Aw, oh, this is awesome! I didn't expect you to be one of my students. <laughs> Still sways quickly behind him. <laughs> Bennett! Shut up. Follow Brian and I elbow off Brian in the side for teasing me. God, I'm doing everything out of order. Sorry, sorry. Ahem. My name's Chris Davenport. I'm your mentor. Slips right past as he gets under his the tree's shade, then bends over to place the stuff he's carrying near the trunk. An Australian, eh? You wouldn't know by <laughs> my inability to do an Australian accent. I'm sorry. I'd like to try some of that sandwich if you know what I'm saying. It's getting old, dude. Oh, man. I've seen a lot of overtly sexual characters before, but you gotta have some nuance. He winks at me and nudges my rib in return from earlier. Ow. Oh, do you want to try an Australian sandwich? I've got some Vegemite in my dorm I can share with you guys. <laughs> That's not what I... <laughs> Mr. Davenport, don't play along. Huh? What's going on? Oh, I get it. You're all playing a prank on me. <laughs> this must be revenge for being late. Yeah, that's it. Give Brian a stink eye and whisper to him, Now's not the time, dude. I'm glad you made it, Mr. Davenport. Agreed! It's nice to finally put a face to the name. He seems to finish rustling through the papers he brought, turning around to face us. <laughs> Please, no need to call me Mr. I'm your mentor, not your professor. You can all call me Chris. <laughs> he flips the front page of a packet he's holding and runs a finger down the next. Let's see here. I think it's time for us to get to know each other. Uh, we've been waiting for almost an hour. We've already introduced ourselves. Yeah, first. Uh, again, I'm getting that. I'm getting there's catchphrases. There's people got catchphrases. That's I love catchphrases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this won't do. He starts flipping through the packet once more, clearly nervous. In that case, uh, why, why don't I take attendance? Poor guy, I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. Alrighty. I apologize ahead of time, but correct me if I get any names wrong. 
Carlos Delgado. Here. He stepped forward and nods his head. Nice to meet you, Carlos. Hmm. I swapped Harris for another mentor, so I'll cross him out. Brian Liu? That's me. He winks at the shepherd and smiles. So it tells me he's trying to flirt with him. Nice to meet you, Brian. And she goes right over Chris's head, as usual. Nathaniel Moretti. Please call me Nate. Right out, Nate. He scribbles something on the page. Nice to meet you. Karina O'Connor. Hello, Chris. Hello, Karina. <laughs> Patel dropped out. Ah! Bennett Rivers! Yeah, that's my name. Could you... This is so exciting! He looks up from his paper and smiles at us. That's all of you! Carlos, Brian, Nate, Karina, Bennett. Uh, I'm pretty good with names, so I'll have those down in no time. <laughs> Whatever, it's no big deal anyway. I fold my arms and look out into the field. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's do some icebreakers. Huzzah! He holds both arms in the air in a triumphant pose. Are you serious? I'd say the ice has been broken by now. <laughs> After you dropped it in molten lava. Don't act like you didn't enjoy it. Meh. Chris continues to flip through his packet. Icebreakers, icebreakers, and ah! Here they are. Why don't we try a simple one before moving on to the big group one? Works for me. Thank you for volunteering, Bennett. What was that? You get first pick. Uh, all right, everyone, go ahead and open your orientation packets to find the pink sheet. Damn it! Why is this always happen to me? You each have a unique set of questions for this icebreaker. We're gonna split up into pairs and trade off asking questions from these. After a few minutes, we'll rotate partners. Sound fun? Uh. Absolutely, I can't wait. <laughs> sure, I wouldn't. I don't. Wouldn't mind getting to know these guys better. I'm down for it. If it means we get started faster, let's do it. I can feel the enthusiasm. This is gonna be great, guys. Get pumped! Whoa! A lot of weak cheer. At least they're not the ones who have to choose first. Okay, Bennett, so who do you want to partner up with? Oh, it's like there's five of us. Will one of us get left out? Not at all! Pulls a pink sheet from his own packet. I've got a list of questions, too. I'll pair up with whoever's left over. Hmm. I look at my potential options. Ah, there we go. There's my ticket out of this situation. Karina, would you partner up with me? Nice try, Ben. We already know each other. Ha ha. <laughs> you gotta play the game right, dude. Fucking scold me. You fucking this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what she said. You can see with me. I won't buy. Gulp. I hate being put on the spot like this. So who's it gonna be? <laughs> God, the police will not a lot about a crash. Everyone is weird like you are. Feels like everyone's expectant gaze fall. I feel everyone's expectant gaze fall on me. I don't want to hold everything up, but so I'm just gonna have to choose. What's well, the worst that can happen, right? And it looks like we have been given a path choice to choose from. Uh, we can't choose Chris, even though I enjoy him the most. Carlos has probably got the most interesting path. Uh, Brian could be fun, but I want to go with Nate. I'm going to go with Nate. I think uh, we'll start off with Nate. Shit, I tried to click on OBS again. God damn it. <laughs> Nate was really nice when we talked earlier. I think he's a safe choice. How about you, Nate? Oh, I'd love to. He prances forward and gives a long theatrical bow. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Scratch behind my ear. Was that really necessary? 
Absolutely! He waves a finger in my face. All the world's a stage! And now we must begin the next performance. Grabs my hand and leads me to a nice shady spot. Maybe I just too quickly on the safe spot, at least safe part. Karina, why don't you choose next? Sure thing. I'd like to pair up with Carlos. Hmm? He seems to be generally surprised by that. Why me? I'd like to pick your brain on uh, some other topics, if you don't mind. You're the first reasonable person I've met that has the opinions you have. I... Oof. Good luck, Carlos. She's not one to back down from a good debate. <laughs> that leaves just me and Brian. More dots. Brian's jaw hangs. I can't believe nobody picked me. That's never happened before. Hey, look at it this way. You and your mentor get to spend some quality time together. Oh man, I'm not sure you realize what kind of guy you're talking to. But you're speaking my language. That's the spirit. <laughs> and everyone split off into their pairs, the questions begin to fly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oxygen is around in place while humming to himself, most likely trying to get comfortable on the grass. You never told me what you're gonna study. Uh oh yeah. You look super smart, I bet it's something sciencey, right? Uh engineering? I'm studying I scratch into my chin pondering how best to respond. Nothing? What <laughs> I haven't declared a major yet, unfortunately. That's not good, Ben. You don't even have an idea of what you want to learn? Well... Business is nice, I guess. Oh, honey, this won't do at all. You should join me in performing the arts. I air out my collar a bit. I don't think acting is for me. A shame you've got to look for it. He whispers something to himself that I'm not able to catch. It was nothing. We have some questions we need to ask each other, right? He smiles while pulling out the pink sheet from his packet. Alright. I look at him quizzically, but he returns, uh, but all he returns is a very practiced smile. I'll ask the first one on my list. What kind of music do you listen to? Oh, that's a say. I, I mean, fun one? I'm a pretty fan, a big fan of Hades music. I'm where my eyes start to glaze over. My sister used to watch old movies while babysitting me as a kid. I guess those distinct sounds make me think of my childhood when everything was simpler. I love old movies too. Which ones did she watch? Oh, uh, one that sticks out for me was Labyrinth. Oh, the one with David Bowie. Yeah, <laughs> scratch under my chin again. The one where the sister wishes her baby brother would disappear. Oh, oh, change it, okay. God, I love David Bowie. Huh? You actually listen to his music? Of course! You can say I'm a bit of a pop expert. I did a huge research project on the evolution of popular music before I graduated. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Usually when I mention stuff I'm into, I get strange looks by people. No, it just means you got good taste. Thanks. That's uh, something I've never been told before. Don't mention it. What's your question? Go ahead, down on my sheet and pick out an appropriate one. Uh, what's your favorite video game? Final Fantasy X-2, hands down. Bitch, you pick X-2 over a 10. 10 is way better than 10. What the fuck? Of course. Yeah, I guess. Because it's got the performing aspect to it that would call out to someone who's in performing arts. So it makes sense. Still, Final Fantasy X is the best Final Fantasy game ever made. I will hear no other. <laughs> <laughs> it's showtime, girl. Oh, yeah. Staring on as a flamboyant fox stands and starts singing and dancing. I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. Uh, I'm not singing it. He holds a hand out to me. 
I'm still not singing it. Don't you think you're overdoing it a little? At this point, I'm glancing to my left and right. Everyone's totally looking in our direction. He's so shameless. I can't help but feel all the embarrassment for him. I can't. I don't even know what overdoing it means. He plops right back down as if nothing happened. So, it's the best game ever. Don't fight me on it. Okay, okay. I have to scoot back to get his face out of mine. <laughs> I, uh, gotta get into the Final Fantasy games. Oh, you yeah, hell should! The stories are incredible and the music is always breathtaking. See, it's one of my biggest inspirations for writing. Oh, so overblown, convoluted, and just hating on religion at every possible opportunity? That's why I like it too. He casually mentioned something actually interesting. You're a writer then? Yippers! That's his catchphrase! Ah, oh, what kind of stories do you write? No, uh uh, you're gonna have to wait your turn on that one. You already asked the question. Huh? He asked two questions. He smiles as he raises his pink sheet to cover his face. Hmm. Oh, here's a spicy one. That's the paper fall from his hands back into his lap. Would you ever make the first move in a relationship? I audibly scoff at the question. I'm not answering that. Why not? I just don't want to, alright? Fold my arms, I'm not even gonna budge on this one. It's too personal. Suit yourself. To my surprise, he lets it drop without question. That's it. You're not comfortable with sexuality questions, that's no biggie. It's a different subject to a lot of people. I just thought it'd be fun to ask. Ask for me, I'm waiting for the man of my dreams to sweep me on my feet. <laughs> I nod my head in reassurance, but the deep down feel of tinge of regret about not coming, just coming clean. Notice he stares off in the distance. Hmm, that was a bust. Your turn to ask another question. Uh, oh, I glance down at my page yet again. He stares at me expectantly. Why? You're gonna ask about my stories again? I shake my head. Nah, I can tell you're not comfortable about talking about them, just like I'm not comfortable talking about relationships. Well, you're surprisingly perceptive. I'll admit, it's one of the few things I'm self-conscious about. My mom always hated my work, said it was a waste of my talent. He shrugs his shoulders and smiles. Some wounds cut deep. Ah, that I know all too well. Here's a good one. What famous person do you feel is overhyped? Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> oh my god, that is such a theater kid answer. Spoofy, are you a theater kid? You do seem a mite bit extra. Uh who? You don't know who that is? He holds up a hand and starts counting off names. Phantom of the Opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, Vita, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Um, I scratched the top of my head. He's the single most overrated name in Broadway. His songs are bland and uninspired. Stories are cliche and poorly paced. Productions are, are focused on spectacle of equality. He wanders off to a verbal tangent about a topic I simply couldn't care less about. More dots. And to top it off, he's a freaking conservative. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, the horror. Right? Takes a deep breath and recomposes himself. Sorry, that was uncalled for. Needless to say, when I make it to Broadway, I'm never performing in one of his works. Yeah, I'm sure most people who perform on Broadway really get to pick and choose when they get work. You do you. I say with a sarcastic smile. He's definitely a big dreamer, from what I can tell. Getting on Broadway is no easy feat. My turn. Who is your favorite superhero and why? I uh, can't say I'm a huge superhero fan. With how saturated theaters are with their movies, I'm honestly sick of them. It's because you'd never give them a chance. <laughs> ah, people can like what they want on you, shit. Really? 
I happen to like those movies. Wait, so you hate this Weber guy's guts for some trashy musicals and yet you can stand watching that regurgitated tripe? Watch yourself now. Sweetie, superhero movies don't try to pass themselves off as anything more sophisticated than they are. I can appreciate it when something knows exactly what it is. <laughs> I see. That's certainly a more nuanced way of looking at it. Mm, I guess to answer your question, I used to watch Spider-Man cartoons as a kid. Just thinking about being an underdog like him appealed to me back then. That's cute. He's actually my favorite as well. Though I remember always wanting to be one of those X-Men. One of the X-Men when I was in elementary school. Pew pew. He motions with his hands. Feel like he's firing blasts from them. <laughs> Nate sits there with the cutest grin. I don't think I've ever met anyone as passionate about what they love. It's really refreshing to see after all the doom and gloom from high school. Though I can't help but feel a little jealous of them. Must be nice to march to the beat of your own drum. Alrighty, let's go ahead and switch partners. Uh, now, how exactly are we going to do that? You didn't figure that out before we started? I, uh... You were winging it, weren't you? Gah! I wouldn't say that. He pulls out his packet and starts furiously flipping through the pages. There's gotta be something in here. I smile at myself and turn to face the rest of the field. In his own way, this guy is kinda... cute. Hmm? So they struck by how empty the field is. Uh, where did everyone go? Chris? Uh, yes? He strains out his shirt and recomposes himself. I mean, yes, Bennett. Are we falling behind on something? Point a finger toward the field. Oh shit. Hold on a sec, that's my phone. He attempts to dig it out from his pocket, but his hand gets caught on his belt. <laughs> Finally he flips it into his hand with one smooth motion and hits the answer button. Hello? You hear the faint sound of someone laughing at Chris on the other end of the line. I'm not always late. Uh huh. Uh huh. I just wanted to get everything right. Huh. He seems generally distraught over what's being said. Maybe I'm being too hard on him? Alright, I'll do that. Thanks for letting me know. Presses another button on the phone to hang it up. Okay, so... He turns to face the rest of us. We kind of have to move on. I hate to cut this exercise short, but we've got a lot of stuff to cover, and I'm already holding us back. I'm sorry. It's alright, you're doing your best. For what it's worth, I'm having a good time already. Don't beat yourself up over it. We had plenty of time to get to know each other before you found us. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting started on something else. He's still standing there, clearly ashamed of how all this has played out. I tried to walk up to him and put a reassuring hand on his shoulder. I'm sorry I haven't been the greatest, uh, how would you call it, Men mentee, I guess. I'm sorry I haven't been the best mentee so far, but I think you're overthinking it. We're still having fun. Isn't that all that matters? His eyes light up at my words. Y yeah, you're right. Thank you for that, Bennett. Please call me Ben. Okay, everyone, let's get started on the tour. He dashes over to the sidewalk and waves for us to follow him. I'm going to show you guys the coolest places on campus. <laughs> Did I disguise that burp fruit up well enough? <laughs> We all trail behind him. I find my I can't help but smile. He may have his quirks, but I'm kind of glad I have someone like him as my as a mentor. A little fade out with the screen, something like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, it probably turned into multiple episodes given how long I've been recording. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. But either way, thank you all very much for watching and joining me on this episode of Santa Lucia. Uh, on the next one, we, I guess, will uh, continue on the tour of the campus. I wonder when that dream stuff will come back in again. Probably at night, when you sleep. 
but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do the end slate now. If you can. On the left, you have the list of patrons from Patreon. Thank you very much to all of them for all that they do. There's a link to the Patreon page in the middle, as well as a link to subscribe. And on the right, you got a video that's my most recent upload, as well as one recommended just from YouTube right to yourself. Personal recommendations. Very nice. Right. Bye, guys.